Where are you from originally? Trinidad and Tobago. Yeah. You were born there? Yeah, I was. I lived there most of, the majority of my life. I moved to the United States when I was like uh, 18 um, to go to school. So. so this is very organic. Okay. <laughs> and natural, and just just speak freely, and then every once in a while we just have to take one thing off. Okay, cool. <laughs> so can you talk a little bit about what your style says about you? I would say guts, the audacity to exist, to continue existing, um, while everything out there is telling you you shouldn't. What are you? Are you a man? Are you a woman? Where, where are you on the spectrum? For a while I battled with that, and I like totally just was offended a lot by people when they would say he, when in fact I felt in myself, <laughs> in my own like self, my own cage, that I really wasn't fitting in as he or she, but mostly like, uh, yeah. mostly both of them. Can you go into assumptions that people have about you based on your style? I was in a, a relationship where the woman I was with, uh, she, I guess she assumed that I was like really aggressive and masculine because I kind of exude that. I'm not really that masculine. Mm -hmm. So that didn't go off really well. <laughs> People want you to, you know, when they find out that you're a woman, um, they don't want you to express that masculinity that, that's in you. Um, because they, they find it like confusing. Mm -hmm. um, so there's never any middle ground or whatever. So it's, already, it's, it's just, just like this polarity game of like extremes. Can you take off your feather, yeah. your beautiful feather? Can you talk about the things that you do in your life where you express yourself um, other than in your style? I'm a musician. I also was like really in love with the steel pan. Like the first time I heard it, I was just like, wow, I have to be a part of this. I have to be a part of this. I was like six or something. And my parents thought that, well, she's just going to grow out of that phase. And they said, no, I couldn't join the steel pan orchestra that was close to my home. But <laughs> I didn't give up on it. Um, and I pushed them. Um, and they let me start playing when I was 12, so, yeah. And that was that? Yeah. <laughs> Necklace? Can you take off your shoes? What's been your, the biggest struggle that you've had that you've turned into a strength? When I look back now, when I was younger, um, I definitely was attracted to a lot of women. Once I gained that language that, yeah, and that realization that, yeah, this is right, this is who I am, then it became like, well, how do I express this to my family? <laughs> it's hard for everyone because it's just like you're told that there's just one way to be. My sister is awesome. She was actually trying to set me up on people. <laughs> In my family, they love me, you know, I know that they love me. Um, and I mean, they struggle with it, but I know that there's love there. If I relied on what's outside, then I really would disintegrate. Can you talk about what's your least favorite part of your body and what's your favorite part of your body? I guess I don't think about it that way. If I am going to say that I have a favorite, it would have to be my limbs um, because like they help me make stuff. I really don't see the need for me to have boobs, dude. <laughs> like seriously. Um, it's not like I'm going to have kids. I don't see myself breastfeeding anyone um, anytime soon. And it's not like they limit me in some way. It's just like I don't hate you. I don't know if I want to have children. It's so hard to be a kid. To bring someone into this world where there's so much hate and there's so much destruction, it's a fear that I have. On the other hand, I mean, I would love to if, you know, 
I had like a partner that I was so deeply connected to, I think I would want to see her eyes in a little person. Can you take off your shirt or your pants? When do you feel the most vulnerable? Going to a bathroom, a public bathroom. Which is safer? Should I go to the fe you know the women's or should I go to men's or what? And neither of those are safe. One time, a woman, she didn't say anything and she went out the bathroom. I can tell that she was confused and something was going on, but I let it go. I didn't say anything. Um, and she went out and she got her boyfriend. <laughs> I guess she told him that there's this pervy dude in the bathroom. And he came in and he was just like, what are you doing, what the fuck, blah, blah. And you know, it just kind of got scary. Um, and I've also had like a security guard like push me up against the wall. And when I actually was like thinking, well, maybe it would be better if I just went to the men's bathroom. And this dude was trying to beat me up for using the men's bathroom. <laughs> so it, it's just, it's an impossible state. He's, you know, I mean, people have died because of this. Um, and uh, it's really scary. When do you feel the most beautiful? I would have to say when I'm playing. Having that unspoken like language and courage and strength and like commitment to go there with each other and then also knowing each other's weaknesses and, and then helping each other out through that. Just experiencing the music and, and feeling it and like playing. That's when I feel most beautiful. <laughs> mm -hmm. Yeah. What advice would you give to your 12-year-old self? You're awesome. Because like, I didn't think I was awesome when I was 12. You're doing the right thing, even though you've, you know, you're being told that you're not, and you're, you're fighting it. Um, you're awesome for doing that. And can you talk about why in your body it's a good place to be? It's acceptance. It's courage. It's sitting with like all the things that are happening outside, hearing it and internally, and then sitting with it and then saying, no, that's not true. And no, I'm gonna, I'm gonna love myself. Wow. <laughs> that was beautifully said. Thank you. How do you feel? I feel awesome. <laughs> Feels good to have like said all that? Yeah. Yeah, it does. It's very therapeutic. Yeah. yeah. And it's like connecting. It's connecting in the way that you do when you play with Yeah. yeah.